begin right where we left off last time <laughs> just so inconspicuously um, I am Wolf and we are playing some uh, Stanley Parable he felt a bit peculiar it was a stirring of emotion in his chest as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job why did he feel this now when for years it had never occurred to him this question would not go unanswered for long. For long. <laughs> and then suddenly... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control, Mind Control Facility. Or escape. We'll, um, go down the Mind Control Facility. Um, I have an idea. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? No one can match my strength. Looks like a microwave. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. <laughs> this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay. I guess we'll go this way. No! He refused to believe it. He no. couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? <laughs> was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world but here was the proof the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. This looks very, like, <laughs> just, I don't know, like, demented. Facility hmm. ballot, perhaps? Is that the way to go? See what's up there first. It seems like it. I, I think if you like deviate what from what he tells you to do, then it's like it kind of leads on four. Just just the number four. Really? <laughs> the number four? <laughs> is that? Is that? Really? The, the number four. Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to take that. I guess we'll just go to the place that says power. <laughs> now a number that says five. <laughs> I don't understand. When at last he found the source of the... Oh, Stanley, <laughs> you didn't just activate the controls, did you? 
After yes. they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. <laughs> Stanley, I, control. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh, In the event that this machine <laughs> is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Nuclear How long until detonation, detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's oh. your time to shine. You are the star. Oh. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's oh. desire. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. Up. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. We're but really what gonna precious blow up? each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about <laughs> me. Where we're kidding. Going. What all this means. I barely know where to start. Numbers. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. I want to hit all the all numbers. Right, I'm in a good mood. You're Where's gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Oh. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Huh. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Something. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That I timer isn't a catalyst right to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No end. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. We blew up. <laughs> of course. Oh god, more Skype messages. I I am incredibly apologetic for that. Um <laughs> Yeah. I swear I saw that on that uh, screen with all the restarts and stuff. All of his co-workers were up. gone. <laughs> what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We'll just restart like nothing happened, you know. 
Am I gonna have to go all the way back to a set of two and hit the doors, off button? He entered the door and really? I have a feeling it's just gonna do that. I know it. I, I just know it. Yet there was not a yep. single person yep. here either. Feeling Fucking a wave knew it. of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he'd coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs I'm to really his boss's office. Downstairs. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. God that dang right. anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments really? with some calming new age music. You fucker. No, how did you know? music it's my weakness feeling soothed and <laughs> rejuvenated Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway do it I should have known it was gonna do that I, I, I I'm I even said it, <laughs> and it still, still made me do that. All right. So this time, we're Stanley walked the off straight button. ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Oh. There's this uh, fancy thing that says "Escape," so it might um, might do that. Although this passageway had the word "Escape" written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Sweet. <laughs> Let's violently die. <laughs> that actually sounds quite interesting. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley <laughs> still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Fuck that. YOLO. <laughs> at this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward yep. and willingly confront his death. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Kill ourselves, I guess. Is that is that what we're saying? Yep. Yeah, we violently died. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty good, actually. No, well, we're not dead yet. As the machine whirred into motion, oh, and Stanley was inched yeah. closer and closer there to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow no. life. I don't want it, Stanley. I don't, I don't want it. I'm gonna go squeeze. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as <laughs> Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Really? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated <laughs> as the machine crushed every bone in his body, <laughs> killing him instantly. What's going on? Oh, of course, I didn't die. <laughs> really? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? <laughs> okay. I guess we're just gonna... Somewhere else when now. every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making <laughs> life the same. Yeah. Do you oh, see wow. now? Do really? you see that Stanley was already dead really? from the moment he hit start? <laughs> it's my it's my computer. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, I got an achievement. More office computers. Doors. Buttons. 
<laughs> I guess we'll go this way. <laughs> There's just pictures of everything. <laughs> Fighting aliens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it just just kind of explains like how ridiculous like everything is. The apartment timer. Okay. <laughs> so now where are we going? I am very confused. <laughs> you couldn't get any more mind fucked, I don't think. I'll just go downstairs now. Where are we going? Oh my god, this is the other side, so... This way? Where does this lead? Where are we now? Now that this method of the show outtakes quite badly back to where you're supposed to be in the store. Is there anything else to do in here? Where are we going? <laughs> Somebody please help. Every time I click, it sounds like I'm pushing buttons. I'm very confused. And... Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I don't know where we're going. I guess we'll go back upstairs. Yeah, we came from that way, so we'll head this way. Write the evolution of his office from okay. Hmm. So I guess this is the next path. <laughs> What's this? Narration. After the second trailer, we sometimes react to people. It was just leaving out the uh, questions that people sent in. This is incredibly interesting, but at the same time, I don't, I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what to do. Yeah, I came from this way. What's going on? Where do I go? Wait, is this the end? Did I actually make it to the end? Well, that was quick. Huh. Let's go back, maybe? Can we? If that's the end, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just wandering about? Can I do anything? Uh, 
I want out. I don't know if this is the end. Um, and I I don't know what to do. <laughs> so that's that's the offices. Done that. Check that out. Can we take this elevator? Oh, exit. Of course. <laughs> there we are. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, <laughs> perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. What? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move really? forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. <laughs> Alright, well that's about 20 minutes, I think, if I'm counting right. Um, so I'm going to have to end this episode here on a very climactic note. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!